In this case, we're looking at what a Trendelenburg gate would look like without compensating for weak gluteus medius. Ideally, I wouldn't be leaning to my right because that's part of the compensation. Things to notice are that my pelvis should be dropping excessively to the left, and because I'm not adequately leaning to the involved right side, my toes are dragging during the swing phase on the left. Now we're going to look at the compensated gait pattern, or the regular gait pattern you'll see um, with people with a Trendelenburg gait. Because the hip abductors, primarily gluteus medius, are weak, the lean to the same side as the weakness is helpful to decrease the amount of adduction torque produced by body weight. The equation of torque is force times distance, and by decreasing the distance between body weight and the hip joint by leaning over the affected side, there's decreased demand on the gluteus medius and other hip abductors. The lean also helps by creating a little bit of extra space between the foot and the ground during swing. Therefore, there won't be a toe drag and there'd be less risk for falls or tripping. Um, and it's, I'm assuming it's less annoying as well. Here it is one more time with a little beatbox.